It's the Hawk Morning Show, Glenn and Tracy. And uh, as you know, last weekend we had the big uh, hurricane relief concert at Touch of Texas. And so much is going on there. We are so thrilled that they uh, are back in the area. And uh, more and more country acts are coming to town, including this Saturday. The Houston Bernard Band is going to be joining us this Saturday evening. And with us right now is Houston Bernard himself. Good morning, Houston. Morning, Glenn. How's it going? We're doing very well. So tell us a little bit about Houston Bernard and the Houston Bernard Band. What got you into country music? So my family is from Oklahoma, and uh, my uncle my father played country music forever. Reba McIntyre recorded one of my uncle's songs. They used to play uh, backup bands for a lot of acts like Tanya Tucker. And So my dad met my mom touring, and back then he was a broke musician, so he rejoined the Army. We ended up in Alaska. I'm based in... Boston, where there's actually a huge country scene, which always seems to surprise people. You said you grew up in Alaska. Yeah. Did you do country music while you were in Alaska? No, I I didn't really. I was really into Elvis at the time, and actually there's a a video online somewhere, which I'm trying to find and get rid of, but uh, (laughs) of me... Of, of me singing at a mall with a cowboy hat, but I was singing an Elvis song. I think I was singing Heartbreak Hotel. You know, I put off country music for a long time because, you know, I was anti whatever my parents did. I guess I was mm. rebelling, so I did a lot of different styles. Uh, I started playing country music, and I was like, whoa, okay. This, I, I started an outlaw country band, and I was like, wow, this is great. This is really natural. I should have been doing this my whole life. Well, I tell people all the time, I said, sooner or later, you will see the light and come to country music. That's right. We've all done it. And then, like you said, why was I fighting this all this time? Yeah, it's it's so natural. It's like breathing, and we've done really well. All these doors started opening. It's the most successful path in music I've ever taken. You know, we open up for tons of national acts, Old Dominion, Travis Tritt, uh, Montgomery Gentry, the House Blues in Boston um, last year. And one of the things that I found, because I've been doing radio since uh, 1983, but I got into country in 1997. And uh, what I have found is not only are the artists that you perform with really down to earth, but so are the country listeners. In fact, I don't even consider them listeners. I consider them friends and family. I agree. I'm the same way. Uh, They're loyal. They're supportive. Everyone wants to help. Uh, they come out, they come dancing. And they'll know more about you than you remember about you. You'll say something, and then like <laughs> six months later, they'll come up and talk to you about it. And then you're like, what? And then, oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> totally. I'm like, how did you know that? I, was yeah. like, well, I watched your Snapchat or your <laughs> Facebook. Yeah. Post. I'm like, wow, that was just kind of like a side note. I, wasn't, I didn't think anyone was paying attention, and here you are telling me about it. This is Houston Bernard of the Houston Bernard Band. They're going to be at Touch of Texas this Saturday night on Upper Front Street in Binghamton. So tell us a little bit about the, the band itself. Most of our, um, when we play out in, in clubs, you know, we're usually doing about a three to four hour night. So we mix in our originals with the uh, some popular covers. A lot of times the covers we do, we like to play covers that other bands don't play, but they're still known. Tracy's not here this morning, so I can ask you this question. <laughs> if she was here, she would not let me. Do you know Elvira? I know the song. We don't do this song, but I, I know the song very well. Uh, yes, because I, I'm known for singing the song Elvira. Well, I don't hit the notes. I more clobber them over the head. And uh, <laughs> Tracy uh, doesn't let me ask bands when they come to the area if they know Elvira because they're afraid that they're going to be obliged to play it for me. That's why I, I was, love that song. Oh, oh, oh yeah. It's, well, especially in the middle. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? That right there, you're hitting it. Uh, and where it says, tonight I'm going to meet her at the Hungry House Cafe. So whenever I sing it wherever I'm at, I'm like, tonight I'm going to meet her at Touch of Texas. I'm going to give her all the loving I can, all two minutes go. worth. We're going to jump and holler. Oh, no. <laughs> she oh. saved up my last two days. You know, so you just kind of make it about the bar they're at. and. <laughs> Hilarious. You're not obliged to play that song for me, just so you know. I, I wouldn't mind if my band knew it. It's okay. Ew. Don't worry. No pressure. No pressure. It's just, uh, I usually do it just to watch Tracy's head explode. Awesome. <laughs> I love that song. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Houston Bernard, let's talk about your new song called Country Crowd. What's the uh, the meaning? What brought that about to you and the band? When you write, you're inspired by things that are around you. And like we talked about, there's nothing better than a country fan a true fan, a, a true music fan. And we wrote a song for our fans, for the country crowd. In the song, it talks a little bit about how there's people that are posing as country fans. Mm-hmm. You know, they're wearing loafers instead of boots and stuff like that. What does it say? Um, 
We don't want to do nothing wrong. Just want to party in the USA. Turn that Miley Cyrus down tonight. It's Billy Ray. <laughs> and, and we do a, a little ooh, ooh, like a four part harmony. You're my so. kind of guy with that. <laughs> so, awesome. Awesome, yes. So we kind of wanted a, a, an anthem for our fans, and it's something they could sing along to, and it's kind of a thank you. People want to uh, get in touch with you, Twitter, Facebook, you have all that going on? Oh, yeah, everything. Uh, Houston Bernard or Houston Bernard Band. They are going to be here this Saturday night at Touch of Texas. It is well worth coming out to see it. Up and comer, Houston Bernard and the Houston Bernard Band. Houston, thanks so much. Thanks, Glenn. Appreciate it.